I'm not good. <laughs> what happened? One of them Saturdays. Anyway, hello. We're on the floor because I feel like it might be easier to show you the homeware bits that I've got. We've come out of lockdown, haven't we? So I feel like I spent the month of money that I didn't spend over lockdown yesterday. So I've been waiting to go to Home Sense to get a few bits for the house. I think now we know we can have a bit of a Christmas thing. I mean, we're not having a big Christmas, but we are having um, parents round on Boxing Day. I feel a bit panicky, like, oh shit, house is not ready. <laughs> I thought we were just doing lockdown and we weren't bothering this year. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I just want it to look smart. And obviously people have not seen it as much as what we'd have liked them to. So I want them to come in it look nice. I'm only a bit mad at home sense. I've also got a couple of things from the White Company. I have got my big reef, which I'll just quickly mention. I've mainly put it there as a little prop. It's a battery powered one from Balsam Hill. And it's, I can't remember what the name of it is. It was one of the only ones that was left in stock. And I was like panicking thinking, oh... I'm not going to get one if I don't order one soon. It is an investment purchase because they're not cheap at Balsam Hill. But I love my tree. I love my garland. And that's it now. They will last me 15 years, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd show you what I've got. Because then I can put all these out. We're having a lovely, cosy day where... I mean, Dan probably wouldn't say it's lovely because I've got him doing loads of jobs. But we're having one of them days where we get the house straight. It's going to be clean, tidy, cosy, getting all those like faffy jobs that you just keep putting off done. I'm just doing loads of things like that and I want to pop out these nice bits that I bought. First thing I got was these which look like sheepskin but they're just polyester ones which I prefer to be honest because I think they're a bit softer. I feel like they're easier to stick in washer. So I got a massive one which is like a full long one. It would make a lovely sort of runner. But I'm actually going to put it on the bench that we've got coming for our table. So it's finally, fingers crossed, arriving on Tuesday. So this is to go on the bench, just so it's all cosy. This one was 29.99, but I really like them. They're so soft, very like wintry. So I got the long one and then I got two of these little ones for the chairs. I've also got like a blanket on one of the chairs. So they want it to be two matchy matchy. I picked up the tights which is unrelated to the home stuff but these are like the really sheer ones so these ones are 40 denier and these ones are 20. I just got those while I was there because I really like the super sheer tights but you just put your foot through them don't you all the time so I've got two packs of those. Oh I got some chocolates I forgot about. Just some pralines. I did pop to Wilco. I got some candles so these are for i've got some candles on the table which i'll show you in a minute i bought them off amazon and they're actually really nice like they're really good quality i wanted the ones from white company but they're about i don't know what they are but they're quite a bit of money for one candle holder so i got some off amazon you got like a pack of three and i got two packs and they feel quite good quality so yeah those are just for that then I got baubles because my tree is looking a little bit sparse. I don't mind it like that. I quite like it without loads of stuff on it. Also, I find it less stressful thinking about taking the thing down when there's not like loads on it. But I did want to get a few more gold bits. So first ones, I just got these little mini ones, which I thought they might be quite cute for putting on the garland because I feel like it needs something. It looks a bit bare. So little tiny ones and they're quite like a bronzy gold rather than a yellowy gold so hopefully they'll look cute then i bought these big ones i want some massive ones like super massive ones like what probably what you have in like a shopping center only like a few but i can't find anything like that so these are as big as i could get and um, they are like a bronzy gold again they were 2.99 each i got three of those and the last one that i bought I wasn't going to get, but then I felt sorry for the bauble. <laughs> there was only one. It's very heavy and it's probably just going to stand out like a sore thumb because I ain't got any more. But I felt bad. I felt bad for it because it just ain't going to get picked, is it? Searched and searched to try and find another one, but I couldn't. So, and I actually really like those ones. Like, they're probably more the sort of colours that I've got on the tree than these. These are quite warm. So... The sad lonely bauble came home with us. <laughs> I forgot about my white company stuff. 
I saw someone say this fir tree smell is really nice. So I got a couple of things in that. First up I got the spray. So because we've got a fake tree, I want it to smell like a Christmas tree. I did smell it. To me it smells a bit like stuffing. <laughs> no, oh no, it just smells like a Christmas tree. So it's eucalyptus, pine and cedar and that's just the home spray. And then I bought these little, we've got some of these like little bell ones. I got them in a birthday present. And I thought I'd get some more to put on the garland as well. And these like little tiny pine cone ones. And then you just spray the spray onto them and it sort of keeps the fragrance going. So those are my bits from White Company. I did mean to say a quick thank you as well. I want to say thank you for all the lovely messages about our engagement. We've had like a really nice couple of weeks and it's just felt very nice and i recommend getting engaged it gives you a bit of a boost you know and i mean it's been a shit year hasn't it so i felt a bit good <laughs> people have been so nice so we do really appreciate that people have took time to say nice things and wish as well so thank you i just thought i'd say it's lovely to end the year on something that's actually positive and i hope if you've had a crap year as well which i know a lot of us have I hope there's nice things coming because, yeah, we've needed some nice things coming for a long time and <laughs> it's, it's took a while. Right, I'm going to go pop all these things out now. I might also have one of these chocolates. So it's Sunday now and I thought I'd just update you on today's jobs and the next little projects that we're working on in the house. So we've sort of started the next thing before we've even finished the other stuff. We're not really going to be doing much today but we've been to the Nelm to get the bits for what we'll be doing next week. So we're starting an ensuite little DIY project just so that it's ready for when we've got guests at Christmas. So we've only got Dan's mum and dad coming to stay on Boxing Day night but I just want it to look nice. And at the minute there's carpet in there, Dan's just pulled that up, so I can't be dealing with carpet in a bathroom. So we're just going to try and titivate it so that it looks nice and fresh when they come, you know, like nice towels and stuff like that. I'll show you what we've got. So we've just been and bought a new toilet seat because the one that's in there is like a purpley, sparkly one. It was like a girl's bedroom, so we're just popping a plain one on. And then we've bought a couple of packs of these stick down tiles because we're just not going to get anything more proper sorted before Christmas now. So I thought we'd give these a go. They are quite sturdy actually. So I think they might be all right because I think the floor is boarded. So we've got those. We've also got this mirror to put up on the wall. This is just for our cupboard under the stairs. These are all like things that we've been waiting to go and look at over the last month, but obviously because of lockdown, we haven't been able to. So got those and we're gonna have a go next week I think. So the carpet in the bathroom is out um, and it's actually boarded so I think this might be alright for the little stick down tiles we've got. Quite a nice like sort of old school style sink and toilet and then the wallpaper needs to come off next weekend. Oh, are you starting though like, having a look? Well, let's see what it's like. I think with a steamer I think it'll come off alright. Yeah yeah it's fine. It's and it's only a, a bit... small space. The shower's quite nice though, we just need to change this seal that's yellowed and give it a good clean. But I think it could be quite cute, so it's going to be a bit of a project for next week I think. We're just having a little test. I think that looks quite cute. I'm quite excited now because I didn't think this would be anywhere close to being tidy. Obviously at the minute it's awful but hopefully it will be in time for Christmas. I'm going to finish that there so that we can get on and get started. I think Vlogmas next week will involve doing a quick titivate on the ensuite. That's probably what it'll mainly be around. We're kind of just doing loads of little jobs now on the house to get ready for Christmas. Even though it's going to be a scaled down Christmas, 
we just want it to look nice and a bit more finished off if you would like to subscribe that would be lovely i'm not doing a proper daily vlogmas but we're doing like christmasy things within current covid life and yeah i will see you all soon bye